Hi friends. So this weekend for our alternative church retreat, we're trying to bring some of the fun things that we love about our annual retreat right here to Winston-Salem. One thing that we're going to offer is a memory art kit where you can make your own piece of art to remember this different but special weekend. So this is a sample of what the finished product could look like. It's basically a collection of different images, pictures, and words that you want to remember from this weekend. There are lots of different ways to customize this art piece, and I'm gonna tell you about some of those different ways right now. You'll receive for your kit a plain wood canvas. It's made with an opening in the back, so you're able to hang this piece when it's completed if you'd like, or you can display it just sitting straight up on a shelf. You'll also receive a set of images that reflect some of our favorite parts of Retreat Weekend. You'll get one sheet um, like this, and then we'll also be including some larger images that are spaced a little bit further apart. Little, um, little hands probably would have an easier time with this particular type um, or size and distance apart um, as they're coloring um, images to go on this piece. So once you've decided what you would like to put on your piece, you're going to cut those um, pictures, words, whatever you're planning to include out and have them ready to go onto your board. Couple of things. One thing that you can include on your board if you want are pictures that you've taken from the weekend. That's um, gonna be definitely something that you'll have a memory of the different events that we're having. Movie night, hikes, s'mores gatherings. Any of those things would be great to include on your memory board. You can print those out just on plain printer paper, nothing fancy, and that's actually going to adhere to your wood board uh, more easily. As you're sharing your pictures on social media, be sure to tag us at firstpresws and use the hashtag, hashtag ACR2020. So once you have all of your cutouts ready to go, it's time to start putting them onto your board. Now, I chose to paint um, my board for the sample before I got started. If you want to be sure you don't have any blank spaces anywhere on your board, that's a good way to make sure that they all get filled in. Plain acrylic paint works fine, um, and you can probably even you uh, can color it in with markers if you wanted to do that. A lot of different options there. And then you're going to use trusty old glue stick. See, nothing fancy here. You're going to take your images and you're just going to go around the outside edge. Be sure to go around the outside edge of those pieces and then get them covered in the middle. It's going to be important that the outside edges get covered so that they'll adhere all the way around. Then you're going to attach and really smooth that piece out. If you think you've done it too much, you've probably done it just enough. You want to be sure that this is definitely going to stick there. Then you can use any pictures you want as you continue to overlap. One tip is that if you have pictures that have straight edges or words that have straight edges is to kind of put those up in the corners and then kind of build around from there. When you're doing this gluing part, you probably are going to want to have some kind of a surface, whether it's just extra scrap paper um, or just any kind of washable surface so that as the glue comes off the edges of your pictures and images, that it's, it's fine to get them on that surface. And again, just go ahead and attach that and really smooth it out, especially along those edges. And you're just going to keep adding and adding until you have all of the images that you would like. Um, another tip is if you have any words or images that don't necessarily allow yourself to cut them out, um, like you wouldn't necessarily want to cut out joy, J-O-Y, in individual letters, color around the outside edge and then fill in the middle to make kind of a 
colored in just kind of a colored in shape there that's going to be easier to cut out for you and probably also easier to attach to your board once your piece is finished then you have the option to leave it as is everything on here has been applied just with our glue stick but if you would like to seal over it to keep it um, protected for the long term then we suggest using um, a little bit of mod podge sealer over it um, just to make sure that all those edges stay finished <laughs> 